there are no excuses for invading a country, part two of eight, on between master and disciples, held in English. boy who became very famous on Gut Talent, something like that. And then uh, they pressured him to go home. Oh. They made him say that he wanted to go home, even though the Chinese uh, were gaga over him. He was talented. Mm -hmm. And then he became too famous, and then Rosa whisked him home. So it could be he wanted to go home, whatever. But what I mean is, Russians live everywhere. Everybody lives everywhere. Yes. 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 Right, Rosa. There are Italians who live in Bulgaria. For studying in medical school, I know that myself from some of my doctors before. Italians went to Bulgaria to study because they have English there. Oh, yes, yes. master. Yes, yes, Maybe it's less uh, strict than in Italy. In Italy, the law for medical students are mm -hmm. very, very strict. Mm -hmm. oh, but yes. maybe in Bulgaria, not. And if they know English, they can study there. Maybe like that. For example. Yes. yes, yes master. Master. So how many more Russians would be living in Bulgaria? Or how many Bulgarians would live in England, France, or wherever? Nowadays, we live everywhere. That's yes, master. Master. A lot of Vietnamese live in America, there are some Americans living in Vietnam, making business there, and some of my disciples, Americans or English, live in Thailand. Right. Yes, yes, right. yes Master. Or maybe marry and live there. Yeah. Yes. Who cares nowadays? So it doesn't mean that if any Russians live in any country, you can just make an excuse to go in and invade that country. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yes. 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 Because if these Russians were truly oppressed, they would have run back to Russia or become refugees somewhere already. Yes, 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 yes. Master. The fact exactly. that they are still living there and well. And many Russians are now fighting alongside the Ukrainians because they hate this injustice, the bloody bully mentality of their so-called leader. Yes. yes. Mm. And many Russian soldiers also defected, run away or disappear to some other country. They don't want to fight this bloody nonsense. War. Murder war for nothing. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm not surprised that they say they want to invade Moldova. This could be true. Mm. Because they will go in anywhere as long as they want. But as long as they think it's good for them or easy. Mm. Yes. 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 Easy access. Corridor, my foot. <laughs> what for do they need a corridor to go anywhere, huh? Mm. Right. Right, right. They don't need a country to be a corridor for their bloodthirsty invasion, huh? Now, even before that, they say they were pushed into the war, or maybe the Chinese said that, making an excuse to invade Ukraine. <laughs> and now Moldova also pushed them to war, I guess. Huh? Yes, yes, yes master. master. It's just another lame, evil excuse. Because you can't just protect a group of Russians somewhere and then cause suffering, sorrow, pain, and death to one country next to it, just to make a land corridor. Nobody would buy this. This is just to satisfy their bloody greed for groping other lands, other countries, stealing their properties and causing untold immense suffering to their country's citizens and affecting the world. wicked ambition is just to destroy humanity, I'm telling you. It's just for their own wicked, selfish purposes. Besides, there are other ethnic people 
who live everywhere, not just Russian people. Yes, yes, yes master. master. How come other ethnic people don't complain anywhere? Only Russians complain, huh? Why always say, oh, the Russians are harassed and oppressed, so we have to go and liberate them here, liberate them there. Oh, whatever excuse. Mm. So in the case of Armenia, there was no Russians there, so they cannot go in, so they incited Azerbaijan to make war with Armenia. Yes. yes. If they cannot go in, they incite other countries. Some stupid president or group to listen to this kind of evil idea. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then went in and make war with other country, Just like that. So you can see very well, it is kind of a pattern of the bloody trail that Russia, I mean Putin especially, lives everywhere. Mm. And if, for example, like, Transnistria has the majority of Russians live there. Then why can't they defend themselves against the other majority? This should be the opposite. Like the majority there would be harassing the ethnic minority. It cannot be the minority oppressing the majority. That's right. That's right. right master. And as I told you already, how come all the ethnic people don't complain? Only Russians. Huh? <laughs> why does every country just oppress Russians? and no other ethnic people. Mm. Yes. yes. In Ukraine, there are Indians there, there are even Vietnamese there. The government arranged lanes for them to go home just recently. <laughs> there are many different nationalities live in, in Ukraine, not just Russians. How come nobody complained? How come the government of Ukraine didn't oppress any other? Only Russians, huh? Isn't that funny? Yes. Yeah. So it's just Russia. Actually, not Russia. It's just these uh, leaders, bloodthirsty warmongers like Stalin and Putin, for example. That's right. That's right. No one else, no ordinary Russians, good, peaceful citizens ever want anything like this, like the war in Ukraine or the mass murder under Stalin. Yes, mm -hmm. understand, mm -hmm. Master. Nobody wants that. They want peace, man. They want to live their lives with their family, do their job, and earn their living. What for do they want to have war? Oh, God. It's just all this propaganda from Putin that mm. makes people blindfolded and they don't understand, they don't know anything. And even separate family members, because some live in Russia and don't know what's happening in Ukraine because Putin shut down all the well-balanced reporting system. Only reports one side. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's why. So you can't just say it's Russia, actually. Sometimes we talk and we forget to differentiate. It's not the Russian people at all, ever. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, master. master. Not normal citizen of any country would want war with anyone, except a few for their own personal wicked interest, like selling weapons or having more land to rule or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, master. So now if they already threatened to invade Moldova just to rescue a group of Russians or something, according to them, in Transnistria, then it's just another evil scheme just to destroy other people's countries, their livelihood, their business, and their peace as well. This is a wicked scheme. Mm, yes, Master. Yes. So I think the world has to do something. I think just forget NATO because they're just so, so stupid or maybe so weak, so cowardly, or maybe just wicked like Putin, just sitting there to support this kind of devil destroyer of humanity. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, master. Even if they don't do anything, I would accuse them as well. They must be one of those devils who work in a group with Putin and other devils to destroy our world. Oh. Otherwise, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they help their neighbor? That's right. right. Yes. They say they would defend peace, democracy, and freedom. All that's just talk. Yes, yes. They don't want to talk. It's just lip service. So nobody believes in NATO. If they join NATO now, it's because they don't have any other choice. They just try, at least, that's all. Mm, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Join NATO, and then they will let Russia come in and kill tens of thousands of their own people as well as Ukrainian people. <sighs> if NATO doesn't do anything, the world has to do something. Because otherwise, if Russia took over Ukraine, that's another democracy, freedom, law. To communism. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes master. master. It's not just communism, it's Russia Putin. Yeah. And even if just one part of Ukraine is lost, that is another stepping stone for Russia to continue their evil, empirist kind of scheme. That's right, right. right. 
or even if they cannot swallow any whole country, every piece of that country gives them like a connecting point, an excuse to go in to invade that country any time or cause havoc, like in Ukraine. Yes, 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 Master. Then tens of thousands or even who knows how many more will die agonizingly or be maimed or half dead, half alive, starved to death or thirst to death, something like that, just like in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. So the world has to be awakened and beware of Russia's wicked tendency and this bloody pattern that they have been exercising all these years, all these decades. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Don't sleep anymore. Russia will not stop just in Moldova. They will not stop anywhere. They will continue eating, biting up, breaking up any country they can, and breaking up the whole of Europe, and maybe swallow it whole. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because Russia is still trying. Yes, yes. They don't take no for an answer. They don't take defeat as an answer. So it looks like they still continue to try to bite into any country they can. That's yes, right. And then use that as a stepping stone to bite another country. So... Every country will be breaking up into pieces. Yes, yes, yes master. master. That's easier to attack, easy to control for yes. Russia. They break up Europe that way also. Putin will break up Europe that way if Europe doesn't do anything now. Yeah. If Europe doesn't fight alongside Ukraine to protect their whole European community nearby and the world, then good luck to everybody. Mm. Yes, Master. I won't say anything anymore after Ukraine. I don't want to anymore. Truly, if the world is that stupid, that weak, and that cowardly, then there's not much anyone can do. Understand, mm-hmm. Master. Then they would deserve Russia controlling with an iron fist. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, Master. I don't wish that to happen, but maybe the Europeans and the world wishes that upon themselves. Then, good luck. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. Yes. They would have allowed the devil to gain too strong a hold. Yeah. And even the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Christian Church in Russia, supports that as well, supports the devil's invasion as well. Mm. Yes. And then the Church of Rome, the Vatican also keeps quiet about that. Then good luck. Good luck to the war, huh? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. If they don't fend for themselves, who else will, huh? No one right. else. No. no one else. If they don't unite together and fend for themselves, then we can only wish them good luck. What else to do, yeah? Yes, yes Master. Master. Well, our group is all getting old now. It doesn't matter what. So it's them. Yes, yes Master. Yeah. It's the younger generation, their children and their grandchildren. That will suffer if they don't do anything now. Mm. Yes, yes. I've been a vegetarian for a long time, but in 2011, when I became vegan, I felt I needed to be able to walk the walk and not just talk the talk. Cut from D. Vegan.